Yo, what is going on guys, it is Kaspazi here and today I am going to show you a very easy method in Forza Horizon 5 that will give you tons of XP, it is fully AFK so you'll level up without touching your controller. I've made a similar video to this, however, a lot of people were saying that they weren't sticking to the track, they were driving off of it completely or they were getting stuck mid-lap, I will show you how to fix that. This is the XP that I got for just one lap, however, you can set it to a total of 50 laps and let this run overnight. The first thing you will need to do is make sure that you have the race, the Goliath, unlocked. This is how it looks on the mini-map. If you do not have it unlocked, I will show you exactly how to do that. This race is unlocked by progressing through the story. If you do not know how to unlock it, you can make your way to Horizon Adventure, select the Mexico section, and it is going to be right at the bottom. If you don't have any available points to unlock it, play through more races, complete more story events, and it is going to give you accolade points, and they will give you those unlocks. Once you've got it unlocked, make your way to the event marker, start a solo race, and select the Create Blueprint option. It is now going to ask you to select the vehicle class for the race, select the exact ones that I do and quite truthfully it doesn't really matter just because there's gonna be no drive avatars regardless, it'll only be you on the race. Once you have this screen displayed you can go down to event settings and this is where you can customize how many laps you want to complete for the sake of the video I will just do one. Just to make sure there are no distractions I made sure to turn the max number of drive avatars to off, this is gonna ensure that everything flows as smoothly as possible. Once you've got that done select publish and save the blueprint, you will now want to select it and this is going to load up that blueprint for this specific race. Now, I would highly recommend using this X5M Forza Edition BMW just because it doesn't steer you off of the road, it is fast enough to complete the race quickly, however, it will not take you completely off the track. I will have the exact tune code for this vehicle in the description if you'd like to use the same one. Once you're at the screen, open up the difficulty settings and make sure that braking is set to assisted, steering is set to auto steering, and turn on traction control and stability control. I tried a lot of different settings with a lot of different vehicles, however, this was the most ideal and the most consistent. I didn't have to worry about the car driving off of the road, crashing somewhere and wasting time. Once the race starts, I would highly recommend getting yourself a rubber band and wrapping it around the accelerate button. This is going to allow you to drive without touching the controller at all as auto steering is set to on. For the video, I had the driveline enabled to the brakes and turns only. However, it doesn't really matter as the car is going to still select the most perfect path possible. If you would like to leave this on overnight and make sure that your controller stays on, take out the battery packs from it and take the cover from the battery packs off, you will want to plug the controller in with a cord directly to the console. On this exact corner, a lot of people were having problems with the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, however with this vehicle, it is going to corner it perfectly and you don't have to worry about it going off track. One lap with this vehicle takes about 10 minutes 45 seconds, it is just a little bit longer than it would be with the Sesto Elemento, however you don't have to worry about it running off track. Before performing any races, it does not matter what car you are choosing, I would highly recommend unlocking this perk as it is going to give you a permanent and 20% XP increase for every finished event. If you let this run for 50 laps straight for 8 hours, this is going to give you approximately 2.5 million XP. As you see, for just one lap, I got 52,000 and I went up a couple levels. If anybody has any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you wish to help me grow my channel, drop a like on this video as it helps the algorithm push it to other viewers. I wish you all a fantastic day and until next time, it's been Kaspa Z and I'm out. Peace.